Hello guys, uh, this is First Day and um, I'm here to present to you how I actually package my hats. Alright, before then, how are you guys doing? I know it's been a while. If you're uh, a follower on YouTube, I know it's been a while. I've actually dropped a video on YouTube. The reason is that um, we've been doing some trainings and all that and um, hardly do we get time to actually go through videos for YouTube but also I was having a kind of serious challenge on the YouTube I don't know if there is a way you can help if you have someone that has actually helped out I'm finding it difficult to assess my pain and um, it's been difficult I've actually sent um, like um, three letters or six letters of my address on how to get in touch with me but on how YouTube can get, get in touch with me send my Google Adsense uh, ping but um, up until now it hasn't been able to I've not been able to receive it so I just hope someone can just suggest what to do and um, I've actually exceeded the <laughs> waiting time so they have demonetized my channel so i've been battling with this yeah so it's best i come out straight so that you guys will not think and um, i have some other reasons that's just the reason i've been battling with it i don't know why it's been so my money just stopped coming no i've had a key so guys i need your help if you know how to get in touch with youtube if you think there is a way to get in touch with them so they can resend or find a better way to send me my um pin i'll be so gracious to god i'll be so thankful thank you so much in advance <laughs> all right so for this tutorial it's not really a tutorial i just want to show you guys how i do my packaging and also to encourage you guys that um, starting is not easy actually um starting a business is not easy you try as much as possible i know you can see my fascinator but let me see if i can actually adjust this camera so that um, you can see my beautiful fascinator even if i'm looking all stressed out i just wanted to look a bit beautiful for the camera and for you guys all right so you can see what it looks like it's actually on sale okay so if you like something like this or you would like to create something like this let me know but creating i don't think i can go through this to teach <laughs> but to sell i can go through it again <laughs> but all the same this is how the fascinator looks my hair is not looking nice so i had to just wear something to look better all right so that aside now for this tutorial i do not mind what's on top of my cupboard uh yeah it's a way to store some things uh yeah all right, so guys, like I was saying, uh, for this particular tutorial, I'm just going to be telling you guys how I do my packaging, simple and nice. Not too much serere, no too much uh, paparazzi. Uh -huh. If you don't know what paparazzi is or serere, <laughs> Google it or you ask me later. All right, so um, I just try as much as possible to make it simple and nice, but also to um, make it look a bit dignified. If you understand me so and um, I try as much as possible to make sure I'm cost-effective because starting a business and um, you're trying to spend 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 and uh, um, it's not equating or it's not um, far below your income then I don't think that business is going to last for long so and um, you are heading to a dead end but all the same for this particular tutorial I'm just going to I keep saying this tutorial is just um, a way to inspire you guys a way to encourage you guys that um, you can start small and also make it so for me I'm still small and I'm trying to make it so I'm trying to be so cost-effective and um, yeah I make my hats my with my hands myself I make the boxes myself. I make my labels myself. And um, the only thing I actually uh, bought was a label tag. <laughs> but that is what it is. So 
I will also be teaching you guys, or I'll be showing you guys, not really teaching, I'll be showing you guys how I do my packaging. And if you're interested in any of our hats, please, this is how we do your packaging. And um, except, and aside from that, please, um, an exception rather. If you are staying outside the country, outside Nigeria, I don't think you'll be getting your package this way. It will have to be in the DHL box because a packaging, if I want it this way, it will really attract a lot of money except if you're ready to pay. Mm -hmm. So, as we're shipping across the country, it's um, on the high side, it's pricey. So guys, that is what it is. So, um... Without talking much, I have my fascinator, theater fascinator here. It's actually been bought, so I have to package it for the client. You can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, I'll show you inside. So, you can see what it looks like. So, I can't be wearing it. I want it to sample it before. So, if you want to see where I wore this fascinator, please visit us on the Instagram at um, first day underscore collection underscore there you see where i sampled it on my head just the way i'm sampling this so if you like this do not hesitate to reach out you can see how it matches the yellow touches of the yellow petals here or leaves uh it's not really yellow it's um lemon but it still goes and the red you see so the thing is you know in line you can have a flower Cloth like this, and you don't really know the kind of particular facilitator you can use. Please reach out to us, we can create something like this. All right, so that's been said. And now, this is my box. This is actually, I make two kind of different boxes. I make a lot of boxes, <laughs> I experiment a lot, but um, I'm trying so much to make sure it looks a bit perfect so this i try to make sure it aligns well with the pattern and um the box so this is a lid and um, this is how the inside looks so and i also try to make um a bit of um, nice um paper decor that should be inside so you can see the under you see the side so the alignment is really you can see how this is you can see how this is so this goes well with this so um if you are also creating something of this try as much as possible to make it look a bit fashionable so this is how i this is how my box looks yeah this box is different this is actually majorly for fascinators yeah this is majorly for fascinators the hat boxes are a lot bigger yes yeah, so i will show you guys the hat boxes uh i think let me just show you before we go ahead to package this fascinator all right so this is the hat box the hatinator box because hat box is a lot bigger than this yes because of the highest um the 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 width is okay is the height if the if it's a hat box it will be a bit higher because of the except if your hat the crown it's small then it can fit in here so but basically this particular one is for hat meters so um, this has a kind of lead a foam based lead you understand so it's padded and also the um inside here is also padded Okay, see, so uh, it's a lot of work. It's a way stronger and uh, thicker than this. So, but um, and you can see that um, I don't really need to align the the pattern of this hat because it comes, you know, it comes really simple and nice. You can see. So um, <laughs> that is what it is, guys. So I just want to make sure I. Just make this video a 10 minutes video, but I'm really um, in this time is really time will not be this, <laughs> but uh, the time is really moving fast. So now I have this, and um, what I do is I also make sure my tags and labels are done by me. The tags I bought, but the labels I made by myself. So I, I made it myself. So it has um, two. 
I don't know, this light is too much. One is the thank you um, little card, then the other one has my email, my website on it. So, and I also use a tag to fix it here so that um, it's an easy place for the client to be able to just cut it off and have access to the cards, you understand? So, this is the card, and I also have a kind of wrap, wrap my own here where I will fix the cards or the uh, fascinator inside. So when I'm done with that, I'll fix it very nice in a way that when it enters the box, it will sit properly. You understand? So and also the beauty will show through. You can see how this is. Uh -huh. So and I'll now uh, make sure that's the front part. It's not wrapped up. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, so you see how it is looking in the bag. So now I'll take the box. So right now let me just stick the camera down. Mm -hmm. So now I'll take the box. You can see how it is. And I'll place it in a way that I know when the client opens it, he just sees the heart directly. You understand? So and also when making boxes, please try to take the measurement you can see how it's sitting so when you see your hat like this you fall in love with it just the first sight you get so um if you're making box try to take the measurement of your hat so that um you know especially all these hats that um, has a kind of quill feather um long stick and all that on its spirals you take the measurement of the hat to create the box for it it does not really go well it doesn't fit into any kind of boxes except if you want to struggle with it so um this is what it is then i'll be facing it this way because this is the way i want it to look then my pattern lead a beautiful lead will be fixed in the the heart is good to go. So by the time the client sees it, she's like, oh my. <laughs> Alright, so this is what it is. Delivery in Nigeria, this is how it's going to be. And um, of course, it didn't, I, this is a growth. Because I know some of us that might have patronized me would be like, at first I didn't see this box where you sent my, uh, yeah. Then we were still learning. Now we are still learning though. We will still get better. This is a sign of growth. So um, if you are in millinery, if you are in any kind of business, try as much as possible to also make sure your growth is visible. Not like I am growing, I am growing and um, we are not seeing anything. So guys, that is what it is. But I'm not saying you should just bring yourself out. I'm trying to cover up this package areas. <laughs> so um, I'm not saying you should just bring yourself out and uh, show the world that um, yeah I'm doing well, but um, just so we can say she's a successful millionaire or she's good at what she's doing or you know things like that also matters. It also helps people that look up to you know that okay. There is light in the end at the end of the tunnel. You understand? Or oh, it's something worth the stress. Uh -huh. At times you face challenges, you you just want to give up. But if it's your passion, if it's in here, you can't give up. Even if you sleep over it, you'll be like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm not, I'm done. <laughs> You still find yourself, since it's your passion, you still find yourself doing one or two things. And you know, the next thing you see yourself, you are back into the business. Alright, so guys, I hope this um, section will be of great help to you. And um, if you like it, let me know. If you want more of this, let me know. I am not promising, but I will try. Alright guys, see you in our next tutorial.